live in London and the weather has been absolutely horrific. It's been raining and grey for months and months on end and I just really felt like I needed a break from the city and from the weather and the Easter holiday was a perfect time for us to go away for a bit longer. So we chose to go to Barcelona for three nights and we had two full days. And I'm gonna take you with me and show you what we did. On our first day we just started off walking and I was really hungry and I saw this place on TikTok which is called Beau de Bee and the sandwiches looked so good and I'm a bread girl, I love a sandwich. And yeah, the queue was okay, I thought I expected worse. And that's the menu, I went for their chicken sandwich which I think is one of the most popular ones. And yeah, then we headed to the beach because I really wanted to eat my sandwich at the beach. I had this like whole vision of <laughs> looking into the ocean and eating my nice little sandwich. And it was honestly so busy, so many people there enjoying the sun some people were even like swimming in the ocean had the bikinis on i mean london could never in march and then i just enjoyed my sandwich and it was honestly really good i would definitely recommend getting a sandwich from there the chicken one was great So usually when I go on holiday and city trips, I always try to check out at least like one exhibition or museum. I headed to the design museum. It was such a funky building. Um, it really reminded me of sort of like a Berlin vibe. And also I saw my dream sofa. How beautiful is the sofa? And they also have a cute little cafe, lots of people working and chilling there. And the exhibition itself started with a sort of furniture room, which was honestly so cool. I saw so much nice furniture that I really want in my flat now. There was a sort of clothing, fashion section and how clothing evolved over time. It was honestly really interesting. And we just walked around and looked at everything and I saw so many cute outfits. I would really recommend checking it out. It was quite cheap. I think we paid like 10 euros for both of us, I want to say. And then we had it back outside because the sun came back out and we wanted to cycle around for a little bit.
So one thing I would really recommend is checking out all the sort of charity shops, vintage stores in Publisek. I really like this area. It really reminded me of sort of East London, good coffee shops and like really cool like restaurants and stores. But yeah, they had so many like cool tops and also actually really good jeans, I thought. Um, but it just wasn't in the mood to try anything on because we all know trying on jeans is one of the worst things you can do to yourself. And we headed to one of my favorite coffee shops I discovered. They have multiple ones in Barcelona and I thought their coffee was really good and the people working there were always really friendly. I think it's definitely worth checking out, especially if you sort of like a Berlin, East London sort of aesthetic. <laughs> I feel like you're definitely gonna enjoy Publisac and Publenu. On the second day, we wanted to head up to Park Guel. <laughs> Park Guel? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But it was Easter Friday, which obviously we didn't take into consideration. But yeah, I mean, it's on the top of the city and we headed all the way there and then the tickets were sold out. Um, but you can still go up. There's like a free bed you can go up to um, that wasn't sort of closed off because the tickets were sold out. So we headed up there and you still had like a really nice view from the city obviously not the same but um i thought it was still really nice to see everything from above but the stairs are an absolute killer so if you don't like climbing stairs then i would definitely skip this bit we went to an area called Ga gracia Ga oh my god i'm sorry for the pronunciation again but that was a really really cool um sort of district of barcelona as well i really enjoyed it there it was really pretty Lots of nice little squares where you could sit and have a coffee or a wine and yeah, I thought it was really pretty there and very sort of calm and yeah, just super nice atmosphere. <laughs> Okay, so I definitely think this is a must-do. This was actually super close to the area we were staying at. And I actually changed my outfit into sort of a sports mode outfit because <laughs> I needed my trainers on. And yeah, I just wanted to be a bit more comfortable because there's lots of steps involved. But I think it's worth it. And it's honestly like not that much, it's maybe like 10 minutes in total. And yeah, there's also a museum at the top, which we didn't go in because we went a bit further up. Firstly, we enjoyed the view from there, which is also so nice and so pretty. And we headed a bit further up to another museum, which I highly recommend checking out. And you also need to go to the gardens because they're honestly so beautiful. Everything was sort of like blossoming for spring and yeah, I had a really great time there. The sun was out and all the flowers were so gorgeous. So yeah, highly recommend going there. <laughs> 